I immigrate here exactly 26 years ago today. And I came from Armenia right away, Niagara Falls, and I love to stay here. I don't want to move. I start to learn how sewing in school. In Armenian, the school, they have home study classes, and I took sewing classes. All Armenian girls and women and mother, they have to know how sewing. They don't want uh, services outside your home. Everybody has sewing machine and they doing all this simple, not like now I am doing. When I came here, I have to do something for a living. And I work different places, in hotels. Finally, when my English was a little better, I started working in sewing place in Summit Park Mall. When Summit Park Mall was closed, and she was, we have our very guy, and I decided to open my own business to taking care of her after school. And this is almost 17 years I have this business. Um, so I remember we had like a little table here. I would sit, draw all the time. Mm. People would come in. I would have like tutors and everything come in here, teach me how to like draw and do stuff like that. I spent all my day here pretty much after school when I was... She was my company. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my mom would work all day to support me. And my daughter, she always helped me in sewing, in everything. Her, her first, she was 10 months old, she stayed canon, it made like, canon, the, like a ruler. ruler. <laughs> no, now, before I did, but now I am doing only alteration, different kind of, leather, fur, suede, everything. Drapes. I like more alteration than making. The Altering is kind of like you already have like your basic like outline or like stand like stance of it, I guess. Yeah. Versus making it, you have to start from scratch and all that. So. You have to have steady hand and a good eyes. Scissors, different machine. I have searcher, blind stitch machine, special machine for leather and regular sewing and this uh, other machine they doing all operation for buttonholes, zigzag, everything. Funny story, I went, we'd had like this culinary class where we would like learn how to do different things and we did this like segment where we learned how to sew buttons and I could not sew a button and it was so embarrassing because you know I come from two um like my mom and my grandma who do sewing I couldn't sew a button specific traditional dress only for uh, artists dancers every dance has their custom Depend on what kind of dance you have to do. I guess like the pattern of it also, like the one we had was very similar to what Armenian like traditional dresses would wear for mine that she's making. So the pattern is more like, kind of like this. So yeah, there's like, like a velvet. specific pattern that symbolizes like Armenian dresses. They like to use uh, gold, uh, orange, like red, blue, like the blue, black, blue, red. white, different. Beads, yeah. uh, rainstones, all this doing uh, hand making. Sequins too. Because of, I make for her. <laughs> The end result was nice. She would see all oh, my work. daughter and she loves to dance. <laughs> I was so exciting. <laughs> special, this is special. Because <laughs> she was only one. 
and our all the attention was for her. This is like my heaven. <laughs> when I open my eyes, I am coming here. Make me rest, make me all my stress going out. No stress when I am sewing. My mind is quiet. <laughs> it makes me busy. You, if you do something, you have to put your love inside. If you don't love it, you can't do it.